Rivals. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking up. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Grayson Rodriguez. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. Okay. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Okay. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. And that one is yeah, lifted in ball. the air. Santander drifts towards it, and there's one down. Manuel Margot up to the plate. The pitch. And he blows that one by him at 100. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Pitch misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work. Let's away. go. And now maybe extra bases. The wall. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a two-bagger. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch of the plate lately. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite oh, yeah. way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Lau at the plate. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. And the next pitch is way outside. Runner at second, two down. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch well, wasn't you. even much to think about. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. And Boog, I'd say he's due. So now one and two. One ball. Well, with this many two pitches strength. thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Back now at Oriole Park. Taj and Bradley joining the slam start. in this one, Taj Bradley. And Singy, we were Good talking down. earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, this one's into the outfield, could be extra bases. Mullins round second, heads for third. Not in time, he's safe. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do is out towards right center field and a base hit knocks in a run always feels good when you come start. through and get your team on the board first high fastball even a little above the zone but such a good job of staying tall on the backside getting that barrel there to meet it just in time i'll tell you what it's not easy to do gets a piece there we'll do it again swing and a miss for the strikeout Pulled the string on the changeup. Anthony Santander at the plate. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. 1 2. That one is absolutely belted. Margot going back. Back some more. And he brings it in on the warning track. Mm. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Well, Ramon Arias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022 and became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado? That's right, in 2015. Got him swinging. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back here in Baltimore, top of the second, Yandy Diaz now. Diaz. 
Line drive, caught. Taylor Wall digs in now. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Isaac Paredes now. One and two here. Outside. Outside that's a ball. Two outs. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Welcome back. Bottom of the second. And the batter now, Kyle Stowers. One, two now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Siri brings it in with a nice run and grab. Now here is Samuel Basalo. Samuel Basalo. The wind and the pitch. Got him looking for the K. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. And now the rookie second baseman, Joseph Ortiz. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. That's towards center. Siri in position. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. And welcome back. On to the third inning. And now it's Jose Siri. Next one misses. And it's two and two. Smash to the left side. On to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Cool, now man. it's Randy Rosarena. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. On the ground. Zips it to first. And that quickly, two away. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Three, two on the way. Now fly ball to right center. Santander puts the squeeze on that one. Back now at Oriole Park. Now the left fielder, Ryan McKenna. Next offering is in for a strike. The punch out there, and there's one down. Oriole Park, still one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of baseball. I can't say another franchise does it better than Baltimore. The opening day ceremony, the players come in from the outfield through the center field wall, long orange carpet, so many fans here. Just a great place. In there. And so now one and two. That signature warehouse in right field as well. You talk about knowing where you are, a sense of place. I mean, who could forget Griffey hitting the home run off of the warehouse in the home run derby, but always when shots are framed, you see that building, you know exactly where you are. Camden Yards. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. And when teams started building sort of state-of-the-art ballparks, Baltimore was the first organization to do it up the way that they did. Really created a mold for other organizations to follow. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think. Start of the fourth. Oh Here's a speed threat. Josh Lowe. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That one was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Runner takes off. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Around second on his way to third. 
couple of hits in a row for him here. He got a backdoor breaking ball. Frankie. Really easy to give up on that pitch, but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. Really nice job of letting it travel. Just good. Right into the plate. That misses the zone. And now it's three and two. That one to first, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Swing and a miss, and it's 2-2. Two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is outside. You need a strikeout, then you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can back... Got him swinging, it's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. So okay. next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. His first at bat was a strikeout. Gonna count one and two. Got the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Next pitch inside. It's two and two. Let's and a go. base hit on a line. Runner from third comes across. We're tied at one. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. And stepping in for the Rays, Isaac Paredes. The 2 1. And that's in there at the knees. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very Let's good. Dallas one's well hit. Way oh. back there. On its way. Oh, and out of here. Grand slam. So he goes the opposite way with that one. Third home run of the season. It's 5 1. We needed that. Bang, bang. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. And that's outside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. 2-2 two -two now. Got it by him for the K. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not the making the adjustment. The he came at him with the breaking Randy. ball, pitch after Arroyo pitch, Arroyo. and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. The 3-1. And a foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So they put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom four. And into the box for Baltimore. Ryan Mountcastle. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun. Three. Goes down Don't looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Kyle Bradish hasn't pitched in the last three days. Here's Manuel Margot, one for two. Next pitch is popped up, and he makes the catch. What a way. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having 
those that were there with a an encouraging smile or a pat on the back regardless of how things were going it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark whether you were doing well or you were struggling and then the way that they treated your family I mean this is a great place to play and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball and now it's Brandon Lau and you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip the next offering misses the count now two and two activity in the bullpen for Baltimore CNL Perez is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde in the dirt and that is that nothing across here this half last half ready to go for the last half of the inning and now the DH Kyle Stowers and now it's even up. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Seven in a row by way of the K. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And though not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Joseph Ortiz, the next to hit. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. The pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Walls. Over to Lau. Over to first, but he beats it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Man at first, next to hit, Ryan McKenna. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Ortiz at second with two down. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. Rule to swing. And he dodges that fastball. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Francisco Mejia. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's one down. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Next pitch, not close, up high. Good eye right there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And a pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mullins settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Tagging it first, he breaks for second. Now he throws on the brakes and returns safely to first. Down the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. And a 1 1. Ball. Up the middle. And that one handled. Gathers and throws to first. Out number three. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got him looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Here's Adam Frazier. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Uh, 
Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. Can't glove it cleanly. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. Nothing do. Good start, Taj. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Jose Siri. And it's even up. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 2-2. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Mullins makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Randy or Rosarena will hit next. Ball to strike. Foul ball. And he deals. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Manuel Margot next to hit for the Rays. One for three. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Rays held in. Back here in Baltimore, digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Now on the mound for the Rays, Colin Poche. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Up the middle, Walls. Now the throw to first on the run. And oh no, it's out of play. Just a terrible throw there. One down. Kyle Stowers now at the plate. And Poche ready to work. Into center. And it falls. The throw in. The tag out. So, man aboard, and the batter now, Samuel Vassallo. Next one misses, two and one. And that's through there for a strike. This one popped up. And that'll do it. And the Orioles leave one. They're down 5-1. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the DH, Josh Lowe. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. And worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball three. And he walked him. Second walk of the game for him. And he's been really patient now, at the man, play. Man. A game yeah, plan that he's sticking Francisco. to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So digging in, Francisco Mejia. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. He's going. Run around the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Trying to make something happen there on offense, but that's the risk you run. Awesome. Strike him out, throw him out, double. 
ready for the bottom of the eighth. And into the box for Baltimore, Joseph Ortiz. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now got left field. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan McKenna. Lined, and that's a base hit. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. McKenna, the runner at first, with one gone to the inning. That's Next pitch is downstairs. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And now the lefty, line to left. A Rosarena makes the grab for the second out. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Gets the outside corner with that one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena makes the play and it's out number three. New pitcher on now, Ryan Baker. He's been so good against lefties. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. One and two now. And another ball. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. CNL Perez, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Up the middle. That's the third out. Three up, three down for him there. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five. All righty. So the the arm into the game, the righty, now, Pete Fairbanks. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Next offering is fouled back. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Sit down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now here is Kyle Stowers. Next offering is foul back. The 2-2. Two -two. 
And that one a little bit high. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI. And those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Bell, the